to the ground. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised in my Lacerdine unboxing video, I also wanted to do a review video of this camera where I also get to put the film and the battery and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start here. Before I do that, I just wanted to show you where I placed my camera. I found the cutest little bag. I was looking for a camera bag where I can put it together with all the color filters and I Thank God I went to see them in the store because have I ordered them online it would have been a huge bag. The one that I liked was very huge and usually all the camera bags in stores are like black and boring and I wanted something else so I got the Kalahari uh, little bag. It kind of looks denim and it's very cute because here on the side I guess it's some theme thing that they're doing but whoops, uh, look at that. It has like a tiger's eye gemstone. Isn't that cute? I think it's very very cute. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I already placed the camera in there. Now the flash is trying to come out a little bit. There it is. It's like sticking out but overall this is like the perfect sized bag. You know it, it doesn't come out, it doesn't stay out and it's very secure so I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera out. There we have it. I'm gonna place it here because we'll be looking at it just in a moment and in this small pocket in the front I actually put the color filters right over here and we'll be looking at them separately but right now I just want to go ahead with the review of the camera okay so here we have the camera it's absolutely beautiful it is the Saint Tropez color I believe an older model of the Saint Tropez because the ones that I recently been seeing uh, at their online store and other stores physical stores they don't have the flash with them and the colors are a bit different they're still in like the same color scheme but a bit different now what I wanted to show you here is some of the things I figured out after I did the unboxing for example, as you can see here, the landscape, it's absolutely gorgeous, it has this little shell that I showed last time and you know, you just remove it like that. Well, after the unboxing was done and I removed this cap, this thing over here that helps you set the focus length, you know, here with the bug for macro and with the people, you know, for like portrait pictures that are further than one meter away to infinity that was off it was off and it stayed inside of the cap and this was just black and i was like wondering hmm was it like that i don't remember i'm not sure but then i looked for these symbols over here and they were gone and then i just found them in the cap needless to say i freaked out i waited for this camera for so long and i was kind of upset it's a little bit you know broken uh, but then my fiance came to the rescue and he just managed to glue it back together but you know the glue was kind of off and it fell off maybe it really is an older model and it stayed for a long time and you know it's not um, the most you know stable heavy like camera this is the point of filmography actually and all the cameras are a bit flimsy very light I don't know, I was just a little bit disappointed, but now it's back there, obviously. Okay, let's get back to it. You can see that it has like a mirror finish to it that says La Sardina, and I love how everything is in the team with this camera, its name and its colors. There's a palm tree over here, and we have some sunset and boats, and it says Saint Tropez. It's just so adorable. And here on the side, this is the knob for taking the a light off it has like a beach ball to play with it's so adorable and the one i saw you i sorry uh the one i showed to you last time but wasn't very clear this little ice cream this is the left turning knob uh, where you load in the film and you can also rotate it backwards now i read the book that i showed in my unboxing video and as it turns out, just like I thought, because you manually, you know, have to rotate it, switch on to the next frame, it's not like battery, you have options, you can do double exposures, multiple exposures for that, say, uh, you can turn this knob backwards, like, you could have shot the entire film, but then you remember that, you know, you have something on your 10th position and you want to get back and make another shot to make a double exposure. 
uh, well, you can just go back, you can rotate this, look at the frame with the numbers and start shooting. And there was this also this other cool thing that I read about that people would randomly meet on the internet and you know, you shoot one film, you rewind it, take it out, you send it to somebody else at the other end of the world and they just, they don't know what pictures you've taken, but they just go ahead and make pictures of their own on those same frames. And I think that's so awesome, the results are probably amazing. Okay, so I have my battery over here for the flash. The flash is the only thing that has a battery in this camera and it's called Fritz the Blitz. Like, how adorable is this name? I'm gonna turn the knob here with the beach ball and I'm gonna loosen up the flash and take it off. I'm gonna leave the camera over here and I'm gonna go ahead and try with the battery first. Now it is using the CR123 battery, it's a bit different that I have at home so I have to specifically go and buy some of these. Uh, it's short, a little, like a little bumblebee sort of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. Okay so we have instructions here on the back door. And also on this little metal knob in here we have a plus sign and this is the plus so it should be like this I believe yeah I heard a sound I heard a sound of it so anyways there it lit up there's a little green light over here that tells you where, whether your battery is charged and obviously we did something good because it is charged and I'm going to show you the different modes that are available here. So we have off where, you know, the light's no longer on. So that's how you know your flash is off. We have like, whoops. We have like a macro with the bug, just like the lens on the camera were. Um, I believe this is shutter speed or something like this or just light speed, I'm, I'm not sure really. This is for normal portrait pictures and these I believe should be from, you know, a meter further, a bit in the distance with more people in the frame. Now, another thing I actually want to show about this camera, you know, it has some little details here that are like, I, I think defects more like, a little bit of black spots, um, not just around the flash, I also found some of these around the camera and you know, it's a bit flimsy, I, I like it, they're not a lot, it's just, it's a bit, tiny little bit disappointed to me because I really waited for this one so long and I really wanted it to be perfect, but the details kind of make up for it and you know, it's not a lot of defects, like you can't see them from a distance. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this off now. Um, I believe, you know, these knobs connect to the camera, so then you know when you know, the flash is gonna turn on. It already feels a bit heavier because of the battery. Okay, so I wanted to show you the color filters that we came with. Um, as I said in my unboxing video, and then I made a research, this white one really is for uh, purposes such as making portraits where you want the light to be a bit smoother and not just too out there so you know you're just gonna go ahead and put it over here and set up your flash settings and you're good to go I really like the patterns though now these other filters they will just add like a tint of color to your photos like we have red yellow and blue and this one kind of looks like a globe you know like the art and it's very cool that they have such designs like those designs they have nothing to do whatsoever you know with the picture they wouldn't influence it in any way but it's it's very very you know customized and personalized and looks very very awesome this one's like the Sun the one that's yellow it's very beautiful and of course the blue one has waves on it it's like water I really I'm so excited to take pictures with these I don't really know what the result would be but I'm very looking forward to so I'm gonna try some night pictures and especially portraits with these soon to see what's gonna come out now for the first film I wanted to get 
you know, a not so expensive film. I just wanted to do some tryouts. They have different prices. I also read in the book that if you're planning to do a lot of multiple exposures, uh, you don't need a film that's uh, more than 400 ISO or ISO. I, I think this is the sensitivity of the film. And I am planning to do multiple exposures, so I wanted to try with a 200. I'm still not quite sure, you know, what's the difference between them. I know theoretically what it is, but I prefer to find out on my own. And, you know, as I mentioned before, I haven't put a film in a very long time, so I just wanted to see what's gonna happen this time. I read the instructions before. I know some people do it for like, like minutes. It shouldn't take more than minutes. I'm gonna tell you what I read and yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. Oh, another thing that I wanted to show you before I load the film. If you've seen other uh, cameras, La Sardina cameras, especially the latest ones, um, these ones over here were able to go in, you know, so it's more compact and when you want to take a picture, you just take it out like this. I noticed that mine just stays like this at all times and this is the thing that actually freaked me out, especially after I did the unboxing and I was looking around and I was like, why isn't it going in? Should I, you know, turn it or just push it? I think it just doesn't because it's an older model, I believe. And the others, when you take it out, there's like a writing here that says something like, if you see me, then you can take pictures or whatever, but mine doesn't. And when I looked a bit carefully, it doesn't look the same. So it doesn't have any mechanism that would just put it in there. If anyone has this particular camera and knows what I'm talking about, please let me know in the comments or just message me or whatever. I would really like to know if this is exactly what's been happening and it would make me less confused. But I think it's just meant to stay this way. It's not a problem though because it goes back uh, in my bag just perfectly so it's not an issue. Okay, here's the film. Like you cannot imagine how scared I am right now of how am I gonna put it exactly. Like again, by theory, I know how it should be done. Now there's a knob over here like a button that you press. And this opens, the back door opens. I'm just gonna leave it aside. Whew, okay, there we go. In case you have one with a flash, as you saw, I removed the flash first because if you don't remove the flash, you don't have access to this button, to this knob. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and try and place the film. I believe it should be like this way with the knob pointing down. Oh yeah, another thing. The snob over here with the ice cream, the left one, it needs to be up like this. So you can place the film. There we go. Okay, now that we have it in, we're gonna push it in. See, it snapped right in there. Like if the first time it doesn't snap that exact way, uh, I believe you can just move it backwards and it's gonna find its place and it's gonna snap into place. Now, this part also needs to have something like a little slice. I'm gonna turn it this way. There it is. See, like a little slice where this has to get in. Okay, and this is where the scary part begins. I'm like so scared not to expose some of it. Okay, okay. So, this is just the first part. It's nice and easy in this slot, I hope. So, I'm just gonna do it this way because it's a bit easier. And also, I have to make sure that these little things are gonna get caught in the, like this, in the teeth over here. So I'm gonna keep rolling. I don't know where I'm supposed to stop rolling actually, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and close it now so that, well, who knows, I might have exposed the first one. I'm not sure really, I don't know. I'm gonna find out when it's delivered. <laughs> pretty much. Okay, so uh, here there's this little slot that I also have to perfectly align so that I can close the lid. See? So it has to go in like this. Bam! It's closed all the way. So I'm gonna keep rewinding until it stops. They tell to keep rewinding until it stops. There! Woohoo! Okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm so excited. Now I'm supposed to click one time and rewind one more time. It started moving. Can you see? 
Now it stopped again. I'm gonna click again the shutter. I'm gonna keep rolling. By the way, this is rolling at the same time, you see? And bam! We got to the little red line. I hope you can see it over here. So pretty much our camera should be ready to take pictures now. And I'm so excited. And you can see that you have loaded film here through this little window. And it's really cool because you can see, you know, uh, how many frames you have total and what's the ISO of the film. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really, really hope I did a good job. I'm going to wait till I have some interesting things to take photos of. And I'm going to put this here while I'm talking to you guys. I'm going to show you one more thing after I put the flash. There we go, there we have it. It feels a little bit more heavier right now, especially on the side because of the battery. It's very, very cool. And you know, this is our viewfinder over here. And we have like a place here for a tripod, which is very cool. As I said before, I really don't like that I don't have any place to attach a strap to, so that's a little disappointing, but I already have a bag and I'm gonna try to be very, very careful with this one. Another thing that I actually wanna show to you, uh, more of the options that come right here. This is about shutter speed, actually. This is it. As you see, the knob right now is on mode normal, the N. So if it's there, I can just take normal pictures, like snap, snap, snap. If though I want to make um, a double exposure or multiple exposure, I'm not supposed to rewind this to the next pose. No, I'm just supposed to switch it to MX. It doesn't stay there. You just plop, plop, and it gets back to its normal position. And then I can make another shot and another picture. Now for the B, the B is bulk mode. When I switch this to the far left, it goes into bulk mode. This is how I can make like beautiful night pictures and I can keep the shutter open as long as I want. When I click on the shutter, it stays down and when I decide, I release and that's then and there. I can capture more light, I can make awesome pictures and I hope that really I'll be able to do this with the La Sardina. I'm very happy with so far with what I'm seeing, even though it has just these little bit of, of blacky things, like little defects, doesn't really matter. It's a beautiful camera, it's very fresh, I'm very happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some pictures and I'll be sharing them with you guys if it's something that you want to see. I hope that you like this review, let me know if you have any questions and definitely let me know if you have experience with Lomography and this particular camera. I'm gonna be very very happy to hear because I got so freaked now uh, when I had to put in this film in there so yeah it will really help me out and maybe some other people too that will go ahead and watch the video later in time. Thank you so much for being with me, stay with my channel and subscribe if you want to see more videos that could be related to story times that I call story bits, unboxings, reviews and who knows else. Thank you so much, bye!